my wonderful brothers and sisters of St. Joseph, husband of Mary, it is always a delight to serve you. And I will keep saying that working here has been for me a great honor. So today I come to you to give you some of the proper highlights of the very big things I believe will be happening in our parish, especially by next year. But before we go into that, just want to again remind us that our projector, as you see, one of our, uh, our slides is still not working. The um, AV industry that actually installed it, uh, Ford AV, they came in and they confirmed that one of our projectors is completely dead. So we have ordered a new one, but it's going to take like two to three weeks for them to put all that together. So please be patient. I know how uncomfortable that is keeping some of you, but we are making sure that we get the right product and install it. The second thing I want to bring to your awareness is the consecration to St. Joseph. I realize that as a parish, St. Joseph, of course, is our patron, but we have not been consecrated formally and officially to this noble hero. We have not. And I think it is absolutely necessary and timely. And so, March 19th is the solemnity of St. Joseph. If you can look at this book, Consecration to St. Joseph, this is a book written by Father Donald Calloway. Is a man who is, most of you would have known him, so endowed and so in love with St. Joseph. He has written this book, is about 30-day novena to St. Joseph. We will be using this book next year. We're going to start sometime around February to make sure that we cover the 30 day that will conclude with the celebration of this solemnity. We have set up a committee. Ruth Paleleo has actually set up a committee. We asked her to get some people together. They have been working on the logistics about this consecration. They have had several meetings. Very soon, they will be talking to us on what we need to do. But before that happens, I will encourage everyone to get this book. So that even if you don't come in person for those meetings, you will be able to join us wherever you are. The whole parish should be invited to prayer every day for those 30 days, leading to the consecration. If you are not able to get this book, please call the parish office and put down your name so that we can count the number of those who need this book. We can then order it. We don't want to order many books and then we don't send them out. If you can order yourself and buy it, fine. But if you cannot, please call the parish office and we will arrange to get this book for you. Part of the consecration will also to invite the Archbishop. Actually, I've already sent an invitation and the schedule is marked. Hopefully, if all things go well, he will be here to actually do the actual consecration of the parish to Sacred Heart, uh, to <laughs> St. Joseph. So when that happens, it also means that it's a very big parish feast. So there are two segments to this. There is a spiritual consecration that we are all going to be consecrated to St. Joseph. But there's going to be a big feast in the hall so that we celebrate the solemnity of our patron saint. We are setting up another committee that will actually take care of that entertainment and celebration as a parish. I'm giving you this idea so that you all prepare your mind that March 19th of next year is going to be a very big day for St. Joseph, husband of Mary Parish. Invite your friends, invite your relatives, you can even invite your enemies so that they can come and see what we are doing. So please prepare your mind for this. It is very, very important. Now, the second is about the alteration. I spoke to you about the permission I have gotten to move the tabernacle from where it is now to the center, which I believe and most of you believe is the ideal thing to be done. Now we are on process. In fact, we have placed order for the pedestal that will carry this tabernacle. It is being produced in Italy. But the first thing that this company is going to do is, by the month of August, they will actually come and take this present tabernacle we have. Because they are going to polish it and make sure that the lost tray is able to shine out. But they are going to send us a temporary tabernacle we are going to use. It's going to take like two months for them to finish the polishing and then they will send it back. And while they are doing that, it will take another three months from what we learned or four for the construction of the pedestal, which is actually marble, that 
exactly the same the same kind of marble we use for altar and for amber to arrive from Italy. So when that arrives, then the tabernacle will be moved to the center and put exactly facing the altar. It's going to be beautiful, I tell you. And then we have also ordered the big, gigantic statue of St. Joseph that will be mounted on one of the columns in the sanctuary. That is also already ordered and it's going to arrive. The pedestal will also arrive from Rome. And of course, there's going to be the two guardian angels that will now be positioned at the place where the present tabernacle is and the place where we place the gospel. That is also being ordered. Our hope and prayer is that at least by December, all these things will be placed in our altar and in our sanctuary. Now, we think there is a, 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 an anonymous parishioner who have actually taking to donate the movement of the tabernacle and even the statue of St. Joseph. But all that is in what we call the phase one. In phase two, there is also some other things we want to put. We want to put the mosaic beautiful picture of the 12 apostles on top of the pillars in the church. We also want to put a gigantic statue, bronze statue of St. Joseph holding a child in the front of the entrance of the door. And the, the statue of Our Lady of Grace, also bronze, on the other side of the entrance of the main door. So as you are coming to our church, those are the gigantic statues you're going to see. We also want to put a beautiful drawing of St. Joseph at the back of the church facing Sahara Avenue. Now, all these other ones are all out for sponsorship, we are we will be actually sending out the pictures of all this by next week bulletin. But this week bulletin actually contains all the indications of this. Next week, we will send out the pictures and the cost. We will encourage everyone who really wants to donate any of this to please go ahead and do it. If you do, you have the privilege, if you want the name, your name or the name of your loved one to be inscribed in any of those statues that you would donate, we will appreciate that. When all this is done, we are going to also invite all our parishioners to, if you want to make any generous donation, nothing is too small. I really would want our parishioners to be part of this beautiful project. No matter what you can contribute. $20, $100, $500, $1,000. We are now appealing that for those who want to give online, if you go to our Vanco online given, there is actually a column which is called facility structure or something, St. Joseph facilities. I think that is the last heading in our Vanco online. So whatever money you give there is now considered as a gift that you are giving for the project and it will be used for it. We also hope to make envelopes that will carry project of this year. So whatever you offer through those envelopes will also be put together to actualize this. There is no timeline to achieve all this. It all depends on how generous and whatever comes in. And at the end of the day, we are going to prepare a comprehensive account of everything that is being brought. We are excited about this. And I believe when you see the pictures, you're going to like it. It is our hope and our prayer that as we work together to worship in this place and make it more beautiful, the Lord will bless all those who are generous enough to give us whatever that comes from their heart. May the Lord continue to bless you. And remember, if you have any question, if you have anything to clarify about, don't hesitate to call the office. Call me in person, send me an email, come to visit me, and we will give you all the clarifications you need. May God continue to bless us, and may St. Joseph continue to pray for us through Christ our Lord. Amen.